Get some people to jump on. I got a, quite a few things to talk about today. Um, funny, I found an old coffee mug that says Raymond Tez Academy on there. And Raymond Tez is an old academy alternative school in, uh, in El Paso that I used to go to when I was younger because I was a troublemaker. I was always getting into fights, ditching school. Um, always found myself in a ruckus <laughs> so I went to alternative school that that really didn't help either so uh, let me know hey Linda Chavez hello everybody uh, hey let me make sure you guys can you hear me just give me a thumbs up or say yes or something like that because I have a fan going on because it's like 110 degrees and it's just too hot uh, you guys got me I got some important things to talk about today um, you guys we are witnessing incredible history being made right now and those of you who don't know I'm gonna break it down to you uh, this pedophilia stuff goes hand in hand with the Nasara Jasara so uh, the things that are happening right now with your cash not being taken coin shortages uh, this is all part of the new system coming in and what you need to understand about this system is that it's what John F Kennedy tried to do before he was assassinated. That being said, that is why we are in this death spiral by the Democrats and the deep state, basically. Uh, remember I said the Democrat party has been uh, hijacked by the deep state and it's the party they are controlling. They were controlling both parties until Trump got in and uh, uh, ran as a Republican. The Republicans are by no way, or no way innocent in any of this, okay? Deep state goes on both sides of the aisle, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so what I'm going to tell you um, today is, I'm, what I'm going to try to bring to you is uh, explain a little bit about Nasara Jasara. I had to write these notes down. I got up early and wrote these notes down for you people, so I hope you appreciate this. Um, by the way, today, with my Raymond Tejas Academy Cup, remember I told you that's my uh, alternative school I went to when I was a kid for fighting and ditching school. I don't know. I was like, I was a bad kid. I'm drinking uh, the Starbucks House Blend. I kind of switched it up today. I kind of like Starbucks sometimes uh, with the almond creamer. Um, so I'm mixing it up. It's actually really good. Also, guys, you can get my book when the lights go out on Amazon. I have to start doing this because I'm making more videos. So guess what? If I'm going to be making more videos, I got to start promoting myself a little more. My mom got on my ass about it. She goes, you know, you really got to start promoting yourself more if you're going to be out there. So I, I did a... Uh, I wrote this book in uh, in one month on my iPhone, and it's basically about being bullied uh, and how I made that transition from being bullied, um, all the ups and downs, trials and tribulations, and becoming a champion boxer, which was against all odds from the background I came from. Um, you know, so it's you know I'm very proud of this book. When the lights go out, I would appreciate it if you guys supported me. I went on Amazon and got it. Um, also, I have Nino's Corner Store. On my Instagram, Nino's Corner Store, it's all Etsy. Uh, you get t-shirts, hoodies, anything you want there. And Synergy Science, I'm now getting, sp I'm getting sponsors, guys. This is taking off, it's going somewhere. So uh, Synergy Science, I have the links on my Facebook, my bio. I have the link on my Instagram. So you guys can go up there, tap on that, and you guys can get EMF blockers to protect you from what's really making you sick. All right, so I got some stuff to go over. I'm going to give you a little bit of history that you didn't learn in school, and they won't show you in school. So I wrote this down, I, I, you know, I wrote these notes down for you guys, I hope you appreciate it, okay? So I'm going to read this, damn it. This is when you know you're getting older, is when you have to start using glasses, huh? okay? So history you won't learn in school. How many of you know? that in 1871, Congress pact passed the Act of 1871. The Act of 1871 was created, created a separate corporation known as the United States and Corporate Government for the District of Columbia. This did away with the Republic of the United States and took the power away from the people. This is, this is real, folks. This is real. No president over the last 149 years 
has had the fortitude to reverse the course of action since John F. Kennedy. John F. Kennedy was like the first one to question all this and say, you know what, we need to go back to a gold standard. And he got his brains blown out because of this. This is how dangerous this is. And since then, we've been under this District of Columbia. The, well, well for, hold on, hold on. That and, and this. Americans have, American citizens have been slaves to the corrupt U.S. government since Woodrow Wilson, uh, Woodrow Wilson signed the Federal Reserve Act into law on December 23rd, 1913. Congress was out on Christmas vacation. They, the Federal Reserve, which is made by bankers, a private entity, came in and stole your government and added in the uh, Federal Reserve Act, which was strictly made by bankers. Completely illegal. Woodrow Wilson signed it into law. They hijacked our money system. Since then, Americans have been taxed to the tune of up to 50% of our gross income. When you factor in all the ways we are taxed, that's pretty damn heavy. Right now, Donald Trump is systematically dismantling the corrupt corporation of the United States and is taking the country back to what our founding fathers intended, the Republic of the United States of America. This is true. I'm looking more into this, guys, and, and the people I'm talking to are telling me, man, get this out there, give people hope, let them know that this is coming. So in an essence, we are now, we have absorbed the Federal Reserve into the Treasury, and that's why you're seeing cashless and coin shortages and all this bullshit. Trump has made some masterful moves on the chessboard, and basically the deep state and the Democrats uh, is going down kicking and screaming. They're basically just wasting their moves on the chessboard when Trump already got the checkmate. You got to remember, Trump is also taking down, I'm, I'm getting verification on this, that he's taking down the royal family, the Vatican, and he's absorbed the Federal Reserve. This is huge. Our lives are changing, ladies and gentlemen. This is done. We are done. We are done with this old system. We're breaking away from the old system. And what does that mean? Well, unfortunately, it means uh, we're taking down a lot of bad people. And those people just happen to be pedophiles. And they use children as currency. So it's just as valuable as money is. You know, children are just as valuable as money. So um, to know that, it should make your stomach queasy, make you sick. To your, make you sick because you got to understand that Adrenochrome is a very, very powerful drug, and then and pedophile, pedophiles have been running this country and this world since really thousands of years. And, they, and once they've taken over America, it was game over. It was game over, and they controlled us through the Federal Reserve, a slave debt system. So, what Trump is in the midst of doing right now, and a lot of people say a blackout's coming, uh, where your devices won't work, uh, maybe electricity. I don't know. That I haven't. Uh, it's kind of a, you would consider that a conspiracy right now, but we really don't know. Um, it's, uh, uh, it could happen. And when they say with the black, the black outcomes that there will be more takedowns. In other words, there will be more pedophiles going down. And another reason you're not hearing about the pedophiles on the MSN is because it's a strategy. They don't want them, that's why they're signaling each other over Twitter and Facebook and all the social media is because they're not allowed to speak to one another. They're being taken down separately and being, um, they're being dismantled and um, quarantined, okay? Uh, so they cannot formulate a plan or they cannot organize or strategize. That's what I'm hearing. And it needs to be done under covert and the public doesn't need to know about this because it'll bring an uproar and we don't need any more shit going on like riots and looting anymore. Um, that is all the deep states kicking and screaming on their way to death. That's what that is. That's what the um, the riots, the looting, well organized, well engineered. It's they're just making their last moves because they know Trump is bringing down the system. The whole system is going down the drain. Okay, it's going down the drain. Um, can you guys hear me? You guys are right. Hey, Trisha, my sister's on board. I know Trisha. My sister would probably want me to talk about Arbon. You guys can uh, hit me up on my David's Clean Living page if you're interested in getting in on board on Arbon. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to talk about Nasara Jasara, the coming money. Okay, this is important because this is going to break us away from the old system. This is these are the great times to be alive. This is biblical. This is uh, what we're doing is breaking away from the claws and the talons of the deep state. Okay. I'm going to read you some points. I wrote some points. I took my time this morning and wrote some points. 
about Nasara Jasara. You guys are not getting it on the news, so I figure, what the hell, I'll do guerrilla warfare and give it to you myself. Um, okay, Nasara Jasara. Here are the, the benefits of Nasara Jasara. And a lot of you say, oh, it's a mark of the beast, it's this and that. my mind to start working. I need to get my mind to start working. All right, I got, I got a lot of people in here now. Good. You guys are starting to pay attention. Also, listen, and I'm not against, I, I have a lot of liberal friends. I'm not against you guys. I just think you need to get on the Trump train for one reason only, and that is we're taking down the pedophiles. It's like you're either on the good side or the bad side. Trump, to me, seems like, it's almost like you're a step, you're this, you're his stepchild. Like, Basically, like, your mom has married all these different, we're going to say presidents, like, from Bill Clinton to George Bush, and he had all these different daddies, and finally you get this, and they let you do whatever you want, but at the same time, they were abusing your mom, they were not providing for the household, they were just terrible daddies, right? Finally, you get this dad that comes in, a your mom marries a different guy, a different, a different father, and you have this new stepdad, and you're used to running amok, and you're used to, you're used to doing whatever you wanted to do, and now you got this new this new stepdad that's laying down the law, and he's a strict father, and uh, he's like uh, starting to enforce the he's starting to lay down the hammer. He's enforcing the laws, and you don't like it. You don't like it, and then you find out, and then you tell your father, well, you know, you confide in him. Oh, I was molested by my all my other fathers, and now he's going after him. So you have this love hate relationship with Trump because he's taking down the pedophiles, but you can't stand that he's so strict and this goes and that goes and this, you don't like his policies. I've never argued with a liberal where they really understood his policies. They just hate him because they say he's racist. And on that basis, now you can say the new argument is, well, if you're voting for Biden, you're a pedophile. If you're gonna call me a racist or a homophobe, then I get to call you a pedophile. That's gonna be my new argument. If you wanna knock down the argument, and let's not talk about policies, Not talk, let's not talk about the the global economic scale. Let's not talk about the spectrum of of of, of uh, the economy globally. The the the, um, let, uh, the tariffs we're enforcing on China and all the great things he's done. And and let's just talk about simple third grade argument. Let's just you can just say if you're voting for Biden, you're voting for the pedophile party. You're a pedophile. So you can call me a racist, but you're a pedophile. That's the way I'm doing it now. That's that's my argument now. All right. So let's get to Nasara Jasara. You guys, I feel better today, man. I had I only woke up like twice last night. I usually wake up, sometimes I don't sleep at all. I feel a little better today. I'm trying to do it under 15 minutes so I can put this on my Instagram. Because Instagram doesn't let me save it and do it. Okay. So, Nasara Jasara. Okay, so here's the benefits, all right? Whew. What it does. Zero out all credit card, mortgage, and other bank debt that are due. Zero out all credit cards, mortgages, and other bank debts that are due. Why? Because it is Ill because of the illegal banking and government activities is why they're able to zero it out. We're going into a new system. Abolish, number two, abolish the income tax. No more income tax. Number three, abolishes the IRS. Employees of the IRS will be transferred into the U.S. Treasury National Sales Tax Area. So they're going to absorb them too. Number four, creates a 14% flat rate non-essential new items. So you'll be taxed on non-essential new items. Only sales tax revenue for the government. It's the only sales tax revenue the government's going to get. Um, food and medicine will not be taxed, nor will used items such as old homes. So you're not going to get taxed on an old home. Increases benefits to senior citizens as well. Returns constitutional law to all courts and legal matters. We're going back to constitutional law. Reinstates the original title of nobility amendment. Okay. Establishes new presidential and congressional elections within 120 days after Nassara is announced. The interim government will cancel all national emergencies and return us back to constitutional law. You guys, this is great news. I mean, this is the best of, I mean, yesterday I had a shitty live. I know I was pissed off. I, you know, I, I really, I kind of want to apologize to my worker for like wanting to kick his ass. I feel, I feel bad, man. 
but you know, people will just they don't leave me alone. Okay, it's going to monitors monitors elections and prevents illegal election activities of special interest groups. So this is going to monitor the elections and prevents illegal election activities of special interest groups, which is happening now, which the Democrats are known for. But like I say, the Democrats now are just the party that's getting shit on. If Trump didn't run Republican, there would be still both parties guilty. Um, creates a new U.S. Treasury called the Rainbow Currency backed by gold. That's huge. We're getting backed by gold again. I forgot what number I'm on. Forbids the sale of American birth certificate records of ch chattel property bonds by the U.S. Department of Transportation. I didn't even know that was going on. Forbids the sale of American birth certificate records of chattel property bonds by the U.S. Department of Transportation. Wow. Uh, initiates new U.S. Treasury bank system in alignment with our constitutional law. Okay. Eliminates the, eliminates the Federal Reserve system. Gone. See you later, Federal Reserve. No more. During this transition period, the Federal Reserve will be allowed to operate side by side with the U.S. Treasury for one year in order to remove all Federal Reserve notes from the money supply. That's fucking huge. Uh, restores financial pro uh, privacy. Restrains all judges and attorneys back into constitutional law. That's, not, that's also huge. Ceases all aggressive U.S. government actions worldwide. Because why? We're, we're, America's going to be in Nassara. The rest of the world's going to be in uh, no, Nassara. The rest of the world's going to be in Jassara. Establishes peace throughout the world. Releases enormous, amount, uh, enormous sums of money for humanitarian... Human, Humanitarian purposes. So a lot of some big amounts of money are going to be released for humanitarian purposes. Oh, this one's good, man. This one's good because this goes to the black. This last point here goes into the black budget, which I've studied immensely for the last, gosh, 20 years. The black budget is where everything is at, folks. The black budget. If you don't know that, uh, you know, the reverse engineering of extraterrestrial uh, of UFOs, um, I mean, craft, I mean, the whole thing, they've suppressed this technology to you uh, from all of us, which we would be so advanced as humans if we were able to have this technology. But we remember, we, were, we are controlled by a deep state cabal, which we're fighting right now. That's what all this COVID is and everything that's going on right now. You got to understand that's the, this is a covert oper operation happening along with this. So the last point, check this out. Releases over 6,000 patents of suppressed technologies that are being withheld from the public under the guise of national security, including free energy devices, anti-gravity, and sonic healing machines. You guys, this is, this is amazing stuff. I mean, I, I don't even know. This, this is the shit. You're not going to hear this on the news. You're not going to hear it because why? They're still controlled by the deep state, by the cabal. Um... So th this is, this is, you know, the last president that tried to do this was John F. Kennedy. And what happened to him? Boom, gone. Now, a lot of people are asking me, is John F. Kennedy Jr. alive? You guys, the only way to get out of the Illuminati system that was controlled by the royal family, the Zionists, the Federal Reserve and the Vatican was to die. That's the only way you get out. So it's not a far it's not a far stretch of belief for me to or for me to believe that someone would fake their death to get out of it. Um, if JFK is truly alive, um, I'm sure we'll see it right before or right after the elections. If it's true, uh, there's a lot of uh, evidence pointing that it could be. Um, like I said, uh, there's a lot of evidence even that Michael Jackson could be alive. Because why? Um, that's the only way you get out of the, the grasp of these talons of these, of these wicked, wicked people. Now, I know a lot of you say Michael Jackson's a pedophile. Hey, I don't know. Uh, I'm not, I, that's a whole nother. Maybe they took, maybe he faked his death to uh, 
to give intel to the good to the right people because of what he knew. Um, I don't know about his personal life. I know that leaving Neverland was a very disturbing uh, documentary. So you know, if he is a pedophile, then yeah, he should probably be better off dead anyway. Um, you guys, this is this is good stuff. I wanted to, to give a good uh, live this morning because I woke up with a little more vigor and energy, uh, and um, I'm getting in my EMF blocker from Synergy, which is on my on my links. If you look at my Facebook or my Instagram, Synergy Science, I'm getting my EMF blocker. I think that's what you need for the new technology. I think uh, once they start putting the out more, you're going to need more protection and this the mask doesn't do it so uh these emf blockers seem to be the way to go they're laboratory tested uh, i have a lot of friends that say suge knight or shun knight i can't remember how you say it shun knight whatever is also good but i'd rather get something that's laboratory tested uh it's a little the price seems a little steep it's about a hundred and no sorry uh for the good ones it's about 500 to 1200 to even six thousand dollars but it's worth your health um, it blocks the whole radiation and EMF for the, uh, the entire room. Um, so I would say, you know, I, I'm, and I'm getting a couple to put around my house and take with me in my truck. You guys, thanks for uh, joining me. Um, I'm going to try to do these as much as possible, but I really need the support, guys. If you could go to my Nino's Corner store on Instagram, um, click on it and start buying my... I designed the logos, by the way, the... Uh, the designs on the shirts and uh please uh when the lights go out support me if you want me to make more of these videos if you want this to be the direction i go in because let me tell you i'm i'm up to here with my properties in el paso you know that's not my thing to do all right guys i love you all pray pray and meditate i'm also starting a prayer group uh facebook page and of course i forgot the name of it already you can uh, contribute that to boxing. My memory's going. But uh, anyway, everybody, take care. Good morning. And thank you for having coffee with Dave.